everybody. I am that Oracle guy, aka Patrick. That is my name. Uh, as always, special thank you to my subscribers for being here. I do very much appreciate you. And to newcomers, to my videos, to my channel, welcome, welcome. I am a tarot card reader and oracle card reader here on YouTube. I like to do collective pick card messages around a bunch of different themes, a bunch of different topics. I'm super open to topics and stuff too, you guys. So if anyone's, if there's something like in particular that you've been curious about, feel free to comment um, for sure. But this time around, what I was thinking, I want to know for you guys, what is like, what changes in your career can you expect? Where's your career going? Like, where where, where are the growth opportunities there? Um, where's the money? Where's the evolution, you know? So that's what we're going to end up doing getting messages about your career and what happens next for you. So if you're vibing with that, you're digging that, stick around. Again, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe, hit the post bell notification so that you never miss out on any of these videos. If you like the theme I'm picking, please be sure to like the videos. That helps me, helps my channel. Yada, 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 yada. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into the pick a card selection, all right? So for pile number one, around your career, what happens next with your career? Hmm, okay. You got the f four of cups and a little bit of like, you know what? These two wanted to come out at the same time. So let's do the four of cups and the five of swords, right? I can't really stack them. Hmm, yes, I can. Pile number one, all right? And for pile number two, oh, there you go. Pile number two, the six of swords. And for pile number three, the sun. Beautiful, fabulous. Okay, so what I encourage you to do now is to take at least three deep mindful breaths. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help ground you, you know, tap you into your intuition. Um, really help you like feel out where where in these piles are these messages like for you, okay? Um, please feel free to pause the video. Like there's no rush in this decision whatsoever. Um, go get yourself a glass of water. I'm big on hydration here, you know. <laughs> and um, also, you know, find a find a good a good spot, like a nice quiet spot for you to receive these messages. And whenever you are ready. I've included the timestamps in the video description, description down below, um, and I will see you at your reading. What's up, pile number one? Welcome to your reading about your career, career messages, career changes, themes that you can expect in the future, all right? This is timeless, um, but you selected the Four of Cups and the Five of Swords, Four of Cups in reverse. So, you know, I mean, look at this. You're not very happy. And that is totally okay. It's totally okay to be discontented about what's going on in your career. Maybe what's been going on. Um, maybe something disappointed you. You didn't get offered something in the way that you wanted. Maybe, I don't know, was it like you applied for a job or something and didn't end up getting it? Or um, you're at a job that feels very unfulfilling and boring for you, you know? like. Those are two possibilities here, but whatever it is, you're not feeling super happy about where your career is, where you're at with it, and that's all good because what I'm here is to get, do is to give you messages to remind yourself that ultimately you're the one who is in charge of your own destiny. Anything that you want, um, you deserve, absolutely. So uh, additionally, seeing this uh, Five of Swords, okay, so let's get into it. You're not very happy about it. You're kind of bored and understimulated, which is fine. That might mean that there's a little bit of a change that needs to happen, right? But at the same time, like when you get stuck in this energy of just like, like you're feeling apathetic or you're not really like sure what to do or maybe you're feeling a little down on yourself, what happens is you're actually kind of accidentally um, not seeing new opportunities coming to you. You know, like when our vibes end up just like getting kind of low, like the universe won't want to offer you something but you're not like really looking at it okay so that's always like a good reminder for you like um to think bigger think broader um when uh, one door closes a window opens uh i always like to say rejection is protection so if you ended up not getting something that you wanted out of your career like 
you don't know what that could have been like, okay? Like you might've been protected from something that was actually like awful. Um, and the universe was like, uh, no, not for you, pal number one, you know? So there's always that. And then um, number two is like, okay, so you're in these feelings, right? <sighs> Maybe somebody wronged you. Um, and what that, what that then is telling me is that it is okay for you to move on from it. You know what I mean? Like it's okay to move on from disappointments and the fact that people betrayed you or like the fact that, um, you know, somebody was really competitive and shady in certain ways. Like you're allowed to move on from that pain and that, that heartbreak in a way. But ultimately what this is also saying is it's just saying like, be a little careful. Okay. Cause like if you're, if your head is sort of in this space, just be sure that whatever actions it is that you're taking are actually like aligned with your values and aligned with your integrity, okay? Because the last thing that you wanna have happen, Paul number one, is like to be feeling down in the dumps about stuff where you're sort of sabotaging yourself, okay? Um, so just be aware of like, you know, sabotaging tendencies or a person who is like maybe sabotaged you. Uh, Knight of Cups is telling me that you are getting ready though. You're getting ready to keep your head open. You're getting ready to keep your heart open to new opportunities. Um, Knight of Cups is moving a bit slowly, okay? This might be encouraging you to, 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 to feel your feelings, to feel your emotions. Um, this is encouraging you to allow yourself to be disappointed in a certain way. But at the same time, keep yourself open to new opportunities, new uh, passions, new things that you could fall in love with. If we're talking about your career, this could be something that feels very like, like aligned with your values, like helping people or like working with people who need you in certain ways. Like that feels very like personally fulfilling, you know what I mean? Um, but at the same time, um, it's what it's saying is like there is a need for balance in some sort of way. So where, when it relates to your career, I think you need to be very aware of where you feel like there's too much excess. Like are people taking up too much of your time, too many requests? Are you feeling too upset about things? Like are things too competitive? Like where does it feel like it's too much you know in ways and please be um conscious of that it would be great for you to just like start writing down where it feels like things are a little excessive and if that's coming from other people you know what i mean great if it's coming from you all good like it doesn't really matter um but it's just for you to start bringing awareness into it so that you can start bringing a little bit more balance into into your life as well okay um because there is as it relates to your career, there is something that's very fulfilling for you. That's, that's, you know, hey, let's just take a little second to see right here, like this cup that might be trying to be offered to you could actually be like your dream job or your dream happy life scenario, okay? Um, I don't know if you have a family, but if you do have a family, like this could be like starting a family business in a way, or this could be working at a family run company, or it could just be like, having everything that you need to support your family, you know? Um, so it is about being open. You need to, you need to open yourself up to new opportunities. Um, and you need to open yourself up to new opportunities that are going to feel very fulfilling for yourself. Okay. Um, because this is a card about just happiness. Um, so that's a good thing to ask yourself, like, especially as you're balancing out some of your um, excesses, it's like, what's kind of standing in the way of your happiness in a certain way, right? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Let's pull some more cards for you. You got the Knight of Wands. You got the World in reverse. Okay. Pull a couple more. You've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And you've got the Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing that. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. You're asking yourself if it's even like worth it to be putting your time and energy into this thing anymore. Um, that's actually like a very valid question for you to be asking yourself. Um, take a little break, take a little rest. You know what I mean? Take a step back from the situation a little bit. Try to be like really, try to be really honest with yourself too. Like you really don't need to continue at this place if it's not feeling good for you. All right. There is a happiness that's available to you in the horizon. All right. Um, but right now, 
you need to kind of like reprioritize. Like there's something about the way that you're doing things, like your process. I think there's a way that you can improve your process where it's causing you less, um, I don't know, it's causing you less like disappointment or less boredom, you know? Um, I think it's also important for you to realize like, okay, you might be, you might be feeling like you're ready to, to, to get some more money and like you're, you're ready to, to invest something in a good way or to maybe get a new job or to start looking for something, but you're not really sure just yet how to go about doing that. Um, if that is the case, you, again, you don't need to go rushing through all this stuff, but I think it's gonna be very important for you to ask yourself like, to keep it real, like what would make you happy? Like in, in your greatest dream come true timeline, like what would make you happy as it relates to your career, you know? And start bringing in and drawing in more of that energy into your life, all right? And be honest with yourself about what that happiness would look like and feel like to you. That, that, that could be so many different things to so many different people. So find what that is for you. And um, don't allow like, maybe these offerings that'll come to you to sort of sabotage that vision of what you have for your for your happiness, okay? Um, but you're ready to start, you're starting to feel like you're ready, but you don't know really what to do, so I would just focus on those things for now. Um, something that makes you feel alive, like what makes you feel alive and passionate? Are, are you a really creative person? That could definitely be possible. I'm sorry, if you can hear the truck out here. I live in Brooklyn and it's just like loud sometimes. Um, if you're a very creative person, then maybe that is a good way for you to just kind of like tune into your um, desires and your happiness is to remind yourself like what gets you really excited in the morning, you know? Like what is a topic that if somebody talks about like you, you know, oh my God, like you, you could just talk about it all day, you know? Maybe that's kind of the way that you can start finding some of this happy, excited energy for you. And that could become a job for you. Um, so far, I'm not really seeing new opportunity. Well, well, there could very much be new opportunities that are coming to you, but it's mostly about you needing to deal with some of your internal conflicts, okay? Um, because you've got the world, you know, the world is your oyster and you can do whatever you want. You can go anywhere that you want. So I think you're you're being encouraged here to dream and think big because seeing this in reverse is kind of saying like, you need to start making plans. You need to start writing down things that make you happy. You need to start figuring out an action plan in a way um, because you really can bring in anything that you desire but you need to like know what you desire first you know um don't let anyone or any situation make you feel like you know so discontented like you couldn't just switch it all around like you don't owe anything to a job that much to make you feel that way okay so like let's just let's just keep it real on that uh note but yeah there's like some closure that needs to happen here with your with your uh with your career or with your cur current job or something. Um, there's like, this is like, would be a really fantastic step towards healing for you. Um, so, basically this is saying like, you need some closure on something that happened. Maybe this terrible job, maybe you got let go from a job. I didn't even think about it that way until now, but um, you need to go through the motions of like feeling your feelings through it. Like this is journaling, this is therapy, this is talking it out, this is hanging out with your good friends, all right? Um, because you're, there is a new journey that's happening for you. This is the end of a cycle in a certain way. And ultimately you give yourself that closure, you know? Like the universe is never doing something to you to like harm you, you know? They're, they're doing it to you to, to, um, bring you closer to yourself to, to, to prove things to yourself of what you're capable of, of like what you desire, of what you deserve in your life, you know, like it's, it's strengthening. So I think you could really benefit from knowing that if they did let you go in some sort of way, it's not personal. It really isn't. And this is, we can't allow that to get in the way of like, our visions for our, 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 our ideal lives, you know, and our visions for our happiness, okay? So 
you can go anywhere and do anything that you put your mind to once you start planning it, okay? Like, you could change your career track if you want to, you know, like, but this is also a really good break for you to take a step back and say, like, oh, hey, like, do I want to keep on doing this? Like, how can, how can you improve your processes in a way? How can you make these tiny little baby steps in a way um, that bring you closer to what it is that you want, right? Like, how do you bring excesses into moderation? How do you keep your heart open? How do you make sure not to cheat yourself in the future, you know? How do you open your eyes to, to, the, to the blessings that are available to you? What makes you feel excited? What makes you feel creative? And, um, you know, take your time, but like, when are you gonna start making steps in that direction? That's what these messages are trying to say to you as it pertains to your career. I'm sorry if they like, if they let you go, if there's something, if there's something really disappointing here happening with your job, I'm sorry. Like, but at the end of the day, you, you gotta feel it, you gotta work through it, you know, and you gotta, you gotta know that it's okay and that can't stand in the way of everything else though can't let that get in the way of everything else um hmm, i want to pull some additional messages for you because this was a little bit of a tough reading and you know i love you pal number one thank you for picking this um sometimes people see message you know cards that look a little scary and they avoid them so if you came here and you you're you're still here and um, you're resonating with these messages just know like that's that's actually very brave of you like you're very brave you're very I, I feel like you being here means you're really insightful, you think deeply about things, you know, like you're 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 ready to do the work, you know, like you're you're you, these are things that you need to remind yourself of and these are things that you need to give yourself a huge pat on the back for, okay? Cuz that's your happiness is on the horizon for you. Um but sometimes things are like a little tough before we get to the, you know, the rainbow and stuff. What do they say? Can't get any uh, rainbows and all that without some a uh, little bit of uh, rain. <laughs> without a little bit of storm. I don't know. It's not very eloquent, but you know what I'm saying. All right, we're going to pull some whispers of love messages for you as well. These are just generally loving messages. They don't have to be like romantic in nature. <clears throat> Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love, okay? So this is this is really, really cool. This, okay, this is great. Are you ready? What the universe is trying to tell you is that you should open your heart more to receive more, okay? Um, actually like accepting gifts, accepting help from people, accepting conversations, accepting new opportunities, like, you don't always have to do, 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 do. You know what I mean? Like you're allowed to receive as well. So the universe is trying to say to you, like open your heart, open your mind, open your possibilities. <coughs> open yourself to possibilities. And, and that is love. Like being open to love is just being open to like abundance, blessings, all these things from the universe, okay? So... It's okay if you've if if something made you feel a little shut down in certain ways it's okay but this is the universe just telling you like hey baby you, you've got happiness on the horizon can you open yourself up to it and the answer to that is what the answer to that is heck yes so you got this you got it um i'm wondering if i should pick another one for you but i feel like these were like pretty good messages um yeah no that felt like it was pretty good all right, pal number one, thank you very much for being here. I do very much appreciate you. If you liked the video, uh, please feel free to leave it a like. That helps me, that helps my channel, that helps uh, you know, get the videos out there to other people. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe if you'd like, like hit the post bell notification too so that you don't miss out on any of these videos. Everybody's always welcome. Um, if you're ever interested in a private reading, I do offer those too, just throwing that out there. So if you um, are interested, you can go to thatoracleguy.com. Uh, for more information, it's like on my channel. It's like linked in my descriptions. You can find it everywhere. Uh, but other than that, thank you again. I do appreciate you and I'll catch you at the next one of these. All right, talk to you later. Goodbye. What is up, pile number two? Welcome to your reading. You selected the Six of Swords um, for... 
messages from the universe about your career, about your finances, about abundance coming to you, themes, etc. And just take a look at this image, how fantastic it is. <clears throat> what we have here is like a family, like a person and a family, their community. There's like some choppy waters hanging out over here, right? And what they're doing is they're moving away from the choppier waters into the smoother sailing, into a beautiful rainbow, into lands, you know, in the distance. So very easily, very obviously, pile number two, um, what I'm hearing for you is that uh, as it relates to your career, as it relates to your abundance, your finances, like whatever you're experiencing or going through right now, it is going to get easier, okay? This is uh, potentially you moving on from a job that like doesn't value you enough, uh, perhaps in more than one way, or um, like the responsibilities don't really stimulate you or excite you, or maybe this is you moving away from like a scarcity mindset, like believing that you don't deserve more things, or maybe this is you moving away from like not making enough money or not getting paid the amount that you wanted to. But whatever the thing that is holding you back, like whatever it is in your mind you sort of connected with um, when, about this, this reading, what you're hopeful for, um, that's what you're moving towards. So that's very, very exciting and definitely some good, good, good news for you. But let's pull some additional cards um, here from the tarot to further clarify these messages for you. I would love to um, just give you some more insights, some more clarity, help you figure out like what's good, what's coming up next, all right? So you have the Knight of Swords. You also have Temperance. You also have the Three of Wands. And then you have the uh, Five of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so we'll start there for now. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, there's, there is a, <laughs> there is a, a, a balance that it needs to happen in your life, all right? So whatever it is that has been feeling choppy, like the thing that you're moving away from, um, that excess that has, maybe your job's like really demanding and requires a lot of your like time and energy and you don't really have a work-life balance like that. Like this is what temperance is kind of saying is coming to you in, in your career, is coming to you as you're moving into these quieter, calmer waters is like more work-life balance, more balance in general. Like you won't feel like you know, you have to take yourself to the extreme of like burnout or brain drain or boredom, you know, like everything just kind of flows more effortlessly. Um, so that's something for you to definitely keep in mind uh, if that resonates with you and if that's a value for you, like that's something for you to keep in mind is, is what flows really nicely, what feels very balanced for you, all right? So maybe you could do like a little journal exercise, kind of like meditating on that idea of that balance and then hold that um, firmly to yourself. Um, what I'm also seeing is that, you know, maybe you've been thinking about this for a little while. <laughs> uh, maybe this is you quitting a job or maybe this is you moving into a different territory, maybe even a new career field, but you've been thinking about it for a while. Um, you're, so that means that you're ready, right? Like your mind is ready. Perhaps you've already thought of a lot of the possible outcomes, a lot of the changes you could make, a lot of the potential that exists out there in the future. And you can move towards it like very hastily. You can move towards it whenever you want, okay? Um, you know, maybe, maybe this, I know this has a little bit of a feeling of like steadiness and slowness, but your mind is definitely like ready to um, take that leap and go on that adventure. But the Knight of Swords is also saying to you, um, you have the experience, okay? You see how the Knight of Swords is like running backwards? Um, it's kind of saying to you and encouraging you to use your like really active mind to look back at your previous experience, look back at your previous circumstances and learn from those things, okay? Um, so, you know, what have you learned from this situation that's a little choppy? Um, how can you sort of internalize some of those learnings to help you find another situation that has more balance? That's like, that's that vibe. That's what that's about, all right? Um, but additionally, I'm seeing that you have a lot of potential here. I mean, this is, you could be weighing your options right now where you're just kind of like, hmm, like what direction do I want to go in? Like, this is a new adventure for me. Um, if you have all, at all been considering like, 
that digital nomad life, like traveling around and not really necessarily having a very steady home, like this is definitely a sign for you that that, that would be something that you're very possible, that's very possible for you. Uh, because this is somebody, this also means travel. So um, if you have also been wanting to manifest a job that allows you to travel for work, I'm definitely seeing that being a very good possibility for you. That's like perhaps some of that you know, that could literally be some of that balance is like you being able to travel the world and and um, see multiple things instead of like excessively always being in one place. Uh, so this is also encouraging you to make a little bit of like concrete plans. Um, so don't hesitate to, you know, take some of this energy and like think about your experiences, like think about things that felt excessive, like what you would want in balance, but also be really dreamy about it too. Like if you were going to travel, if you had a new opportunity, like what would be the best case scenarios for you? Like if you want to find a job, you know what I'm saying? In, in, uh, Italy and somewhere in Europe. I don't know. This kind of looks like an oasis. So like, I don't know, in Egypt, it's it's just saying to you that those things are possible. Okay. Um, so just think about it. Uh, um, put your minds to it and start actually forming a bit of a plan. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to just take a sip of water. Uh, hydration is so important, you guys. Um, okay, but then you also got the five of uh, pentacles. So what this is saying to you too, um, this is a reminder for you like that there is assistance available to you. There's actually a lot of support available to you. Um, you don't need to feel like, um, you know, as you're going about this or you're making this decision or you're switching your careers, like you have to be a, you know a one man island in a way like there are people that want to support you there are places that want to hear you out like so this is you leaning on your community your friendships your uh, mentorships uh, maybe there's somebody that you currently work with um, that you really confide in is a good friend of yours maybe you could talk to that person a little bit uh, but this is just saying like you wherever you go and whatever you do you're always going to be supported and um, it's a little bit of a caution to feel not to feel like that isn't the case um aka like if you do have sometimes have a tendency to be like i'm all on my own on this journey like no you're not like you have a lot of people who would love to support you um so just kind of keep that as like a reminder as well uh, maybe that's some of the things that need to be put into balance is just sort of working more effectively with people uh in a way that you know you don't have to martyr yourself and stuff you know um, but let's get some additional, this one wanted to roll over. Let's get additional messages for you. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's get a few more. Oh, boy. These are just jumping out like crazy today. All right. All right. And all right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to shift these up a little bit so that y'all can see them. <clears throat> Uh, all right, Ten of Pentacles, the Five of uh, Wands, you have the Hangman in reverse, you have the Eight, sorry, yes, the Eight of Swords in reverse, you have the High Priestess, and you have the Queen of Cups. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to start with this. You, um, you, you have an incredible and amazing intuition, all right? You are capable of knowing what serves you and what doesn't serve you. You can tap into your dreams. You have a total um, incredible ability to understand your emotions and where you're coming from. A very compassionate person, very mystic person in a way. Um, this is an encouragement for you to feel your feelings, for you to trust and listen to your voice and that like downloads, you know what I mean? Downloads from the universe, from your ancestors, from your guides, from your spirit guides, your dreams. Um, the, these are tools and instruments that you can use to help gain more clarity in your life, all right? Like, you are so capable of finding the right thing that makes sense for you um, as you're sort of working through moving on to this, to this, uh, th these calmer waters. But at the same time, like, you're, it's such a strength of yours. Like, your, your ability to intuit and feel and be compassionate is so strong for you. I'm also seeing that this could potentially be, like, a shift of your career in a way that feels more helpful, um, that feels more humanitarian, that feels more compassionate. Um, is it really important for you uh, to, to be very mission driven? Because if that's the, if that's the case, like I'm definitely seeing um, 
that that being a possibility for you here as well, okay? Um, maybe this is you uh, forming some sort of career that is, you know, you're the expert of, you're consulting with, you're giving advice to people, you're listening to, you know, hearing them out, you're, you're understanding group dynamics. Like this is, this is just really cool, um, sensitive, um, Oh, it's it's very powerful energy, and 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 I, I I need to also say like you're you're very capable of manifesting all of these things. So please please as you're sort of like thinking about what it is that you want in these balance, just hold on to those feelings, you know, and and you're you're going to attract more of them because you're a very strong, powerful manifester. All right, I'm gonna take another sip. Ooh, I'm so thirsty right now. Pile number two. Wow. Um, okay, cool. Um, additionally, uh, listen, nobody can do it like you. Um, I know like it sometimes seems like it's really competitive in certain ways and, you know, people are always out here uh, trying to climb up the corporate ladder or whatever it is. Like they're not really listening to one another. Um, if you ever have any doubts about your own experiences, like that's a moment for you to reflect back to your experiences. This is a reminder that nobody can do it like you are, right? Nobody can shine the way that you could do that you shine. Nobody can say what it is that you say the way you say it. All right. So um, this is just a reminder for you that you are unique. You are diverse. You are capable of incredible things. And you really don't need to be bogged down in the bullshit, you know, like uh, especially not for people who aren't going to hear you out. So that's just a friendly, helpful reminder to you. I also got the pen uh, 10 of pentacles in reverse. So. I don't know if you've been feeling in some sort of way about like, you know, finances could definitely be a thing, like not feeling like you're making enough money um, or like, uh, you know, are, are you being given enough to sort of support people in the way that you want to support people? Um, it's very much a card about your kind of values here. Um, so this might be asking you as it relates to your career to under try to really tune into and understand what your values are. Um, again, like are some of your values very like mission driven, very like humanitarian driven, um, stuff like that, because that would be very powerful sort of feeling emotion tool to kind of lean on as these changes are happening in your life. Um, but you know, obviously if it is, it is money and it comes down to possessions and stuff like that, it's also encouraging you to, uh, develop a sense of gratitude for the things that you already have, which is very powerful. Um, and it is also kind of, it's just, you know what it is, is it's a reminder for you that sometimes you can work your entire life, you can live your entire life and it'll take your entire life for you to realize like what is actually the most of value to you. So that's a little thing for you to kind of meditate on. All right. Um, there's a perspective shift that is happening for you as well. Um, there's like, a, this is sort of an encouragement for you to deepen your spirituality, to believe that things are happening for you, for your greatest good, not against you, um, to kind of see the larger picture of things. Um, I also like to say rejection is protection. So, um, you know, as you're kind of going about these things, it's a reminder for you that like no, no bad really happens to you in ways. It's just kind of like, great experiences, learning moments for you, vulnerable moments for you to kind of just like expand your awareness. Um, and sometimes if things aren't given to us, you know, we can get like pretty bummed out about it. But in reality, if you, you know, broaden your perspective of things, you don't know what that situation could have been like. You know, they, they, maybe the universe was really actually trying to protect you by showing you like the things you didn't want. Um, or try to protect you by not giving you the things you thought you wanted. So that's kind of the vibe is like expanding your awareness, like making your thought process bigger and sort of seeing how things are affecting you, but they're also affecting the whole, right? Um, I'm also just being compelled to say that true manifestation is not, um, like very powerful manifestation, manifestation is not so deeply personal about you. It sort of considers the other, it considers the world, it considers other people around you. Um, so maybe that's a way to, you know, I'm really seeing a lot of possible humanitarian work for some of y'all, like definitely really feeling out that vibe. But what that means is like, when you manifest the things that you desire, yes, they could be for you, but in reality, they're also for other people and they're for the world too. Like if you prove to yourself 
that you can manifest anything that you want, you are actually proving to everyone else in your life that they can do the same. Like, you know what I mean? So sort of like thinking about things in a bigger sense than just the total personal, right? Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I get it. You know, this, this feels like very sort of like bound and confused and not really knowing what to do energy. Maybe um, in the past you felt like, these are things that you just kind of had to deal with and you don't really have a choice and, you know, there's, you know, everybody's got to pay their dues kind of situation, but you're moving away from that energy, all right? Maybe now you're going to start opening your eyes a little bit more, sort of seeing a little bit more of how things are um, connected and not feeling like you don't have a choice because you definitely have support, number one, have a choice, number two, um, and definitely possess like this incredible divine feminine rec receptivity you know so that's another thing too that i'm seeing is like be receptive to things getting easier for you getting calmer for you making more sense for you being more excited for you you know is peace and freedom freedom peace are peace and freedom values for you and like how do you attract and draw in more of that you know <clears throat> Um, let's see, I'm feeling compelled to pull some additional cards, but I just gotta figure out which ones I want to do. Oh, cool, yeah, I wanna pick these ones. Um, these are Starseed Oracle cards. <clears throat> these are cool, I like them because uh, they're sort of like, um, there's something kind of like celestial about them, um, something that feels like broader picture, um, and that's just kind of what I'm vibing with for you right now, so. See if we can get some big picture um, things for you to consider right now. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. What did I say? You are not alone. So please do me a favor. Um, at some point today or tomorrow or in the next few days, whatever, can you make a physical connection with someone? Someone in your community, someone in your friends, someone you feel intimate with, vulnerable with, and just kind of talk to them about your dream. Like, not, it doesn't have to be sad, you know? Talk to them about your cool dreams and your visions. Like, you know, who's your buddy? Who's your friend? Who's your family member that you can just, you just get off on like dreaming about stuff together? I think that would be really, really good vibes for you. And if you haven't told anybody that you're thinking of moving on, like maybe you just confess that to somebody, you know? Um, there's no such thing like you can share <laughs> you can share your dreams and your wishes all right it's not gonna not come true if you um share it with somebody if anything it's gonna make you closer and it's gonna help you realize things that are very valuable to you all right so um i don't know these guys these two like uh women here i'm getting some sort of like sister vibes or like best girlfriends squirrel kind of situation but you know we're, we're not gender specific here necessarily that's just a message for some people in particular um star brothers that's so funny and then the second one is star brothers uh horus energy protection loyalty safety trust um i do kind of see this as i'm sort of seeing this as like your ancestors and you've got like some powerful protective energy coming to you from the other side and from the beyond and from the divine um so i think this is a reminder for you like you are protected as this is happening uh, you are okay. You can trust in the process. You can flow in the process. But I'm definitely seeing some very good, cool potential for you to maybe do like an ancestor. I have, an, I have ancestor readings on my YouTube channel. So if you're feeling like compelled and like that's, that's clicking with you, maybe go check out some of those. I have a few of those. Um, maybe there are some messages that are there for you, but like, I feel like this is a connection. F this is an invitation for you to deepen your connection with some spirit guide, someone, um, guardian angel, et cetera, like whatever you want to call it. Um, so maybe there's some candle magic you can do. Maybe there's some meditation you can do. Uh, maybe there's just some mindfulness you can bring into that and alter you can make. Um, but again, it's, it really is just kind of giving me that sense again, like you are not alone. And like, I, that means quite literally on the physical plane and in the, the spiritual plane as well. So um, really amazing messages of encouragement. So just know like, as all of this is happening, the fact that, that both of those popped up just feels very, very, very encouraging for you. So um, you definitely got this. You're ready to move on to this new journey and it's, it's up to you. So um, tune in. Oh, broaden your mind, find your balance, um, and dream, dream. You are not alone, right? 
Uh, thank you very much, pal number two. That was your reading. If you liked the video, please leave me a like, subscribe, post bell notification. That lets me know you guys are digging it, you're into it, you want me to keep going. Um, if you're ever interested in a private reading, I do offer those. Uh, you can find more information at thatoracleguy.com. Also, I have like an Instagram and a TikTok now. So if you're into those uh, platforms and you like to use those, please feel free to follow me on there too. It's that Oracle Guy on both of them. Um, again, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate you. I will catch you at the next one of these. All right, talk to you later. Goodbye. And last, but never least, pile number three, you selected the sun for your career messages, themes, abundance, uh, messages from the universe. And this is, look at this card. <laughs> I mean, this is the happiest, most joyful, radiant, positive card like in the entire deck. Um, this is like wishes come true, total happiness and joy, like greatest possible outcomes. Um, this is really incredible, positive, positive energy for you. So maybe you're really happy in your career and you're like really happy with your job and like everything's going so well or you just got something that made you feel so good and so happy, like... If that's the case, definite, definite congratulations. And we're going to uh, continue to pull some more cool messages to further expand on this for you. But otherwise, what this could also be saying to you is like your happiness and your joy and your radiance is so important. Um, like that is, that is your North Star, okay? Like this this card and the feelings that it conveys is what's going to guide you to literally anything you ever want in, in in the universe, okay? Um, it is a reminder for you that the sun shines on everybody equally all the time, every day. And um, that your joy, joy is one of the highest vibrations that exists. So let's pull some additional cards for you to further um, expand on that message. Okay, you got the 10 of swords, you got the uh, nine of wands, you got the queen of pentacles, you've got the four of swords, and then you have death in reverse. Okay, this is, okay, <clears throat> this is really intense. No, no, you know what, I'm not gonna say it that way. It is not that intense, but I think I, I'm getting an understanding of what's good for you, pal number three, all right? Joy, the sun, is your birthright, okay? The sun shines on everybody every single day, no matter what, equally. Equally is a very important reminder for you there, all right? Because look at how <clears throat> defeated this card is. You might be at the end. You know what's so good about the defeat in this card is that it's the end of a cycle. It's literally saying like, okay, you know, sometimes you have to hit rock bottom for you to just kind of like make this decision or for things to kind of like switch around um, in a positive way, right? In a radiant sun filled way. So there's something that is over uh, related to your career. Your job is trash. Um, maybe if it's not your job, maybe it's you're looking for a job or like they're not paying you enough or something like that, that it's, it's not working. <laughs> and there's an, a need for you to stop resisting that change. Okay. Um, I know it's very scary. The idea of like, you know, maybe looking for another job or switching careers or like, if you've been looking for a job, like, it's scary the feeling of like, oh man, like when am I gonna get it? Is it gonna happen? The truth is it's gonna happen for you. It will evolve, but there's a sort of resistance to change that's happening inside of you that is kind of blocking some of this um, sun-filled energy, all right? Um, maybe you're doubting yourself and you're doubting your own self-worth because you're actually very, you're much stronger than you think you are. You are very resilient. You are very capable. You're wiser than you give yourself credit for. Um, has this person or has this job made you feel otherwise? And if that's the case, that's not good, you know? If, if you live in the U.S. as I do, sometimes you work for these places and 
you know, they'll, they'll drain every bit of energy out of you and then suddenly you're exhausted and burnt out and doubting yourself in certain ways. And so if you're in this kind of energy with the relation to this job that you're in or the circumstance you're in, like you have to ask yourself, like, is it worth ever allowing a situation or a job to take that from me? Because your self-worth is so important. Like you believing in yourself is so important. Like change is an inevitability, you know, like and resisting those things and failing to feel as powerful as you truly are is blocking you from um, joy, right? Uh, joy is your ultimate outcome here. I just want to say as a reminder, but like we might just have to get through some of these messages first, okay? Uh, uh, additionally, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I'm getting a sense that you're it's it's feeling hard for you right now to receive. Um, it's feeling hard for you to remember actually that abundance is your birthright and that money loves you, honey. <laughs> okay, look at this. She's holding on to that 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 money like it's her child, right? Like it's almost sort of like a pregnant figure in a way. She's so generous. She's so receptive. She receives beautiful, luxurious things, copious amounts of money. She, like, loves her home. Like, everything's beautiful, okay? Um, but there might be a little bit of an element inside of yourself that is resisting receiving money which is okay like sometimes that happens to all of us okay sometimes that's you might quite literally be in a situation where you're like well how am i supposed to like pay my bills otherwise like how am i supposed to have enough at the end of the how do i make ends meet like that's sort of that feeling and i really don't want to sound insensitive here in any way but like this is just kind of how manifestation works right is it's like believing that you don't have enough is just going to continue to give you more of enough all right or more of not enough so there's a mindset switch that needs to happen within you pile number three that says i am naturally abundant money loves to be in my in my coin purse in my purse in my pocket in my bank account I make good investments. I make long-term investments. Money flows into my life from all directions. Like these are good positive mantras that I actually think would be great for you to just write down and then repeat to yourself every time that you see them because it, it, it works and it makes a difference, all right? Um, additionally, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'd, it's you got the death in reverse. So additionally, that's another reminder, like for you here, that there's this there's this change, there's this death that needs to happen, um, and you're there's a resistance to it. Um, it's 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 making you it's taking away from your joy. All right, so death is a very natural cycle. It is just as natural as life is. The beginning of new a uh, beginning of things, the end of things. It has to go and flow, and if if something gets in the way of it or if you stand in the way of a natural process that makes good positive sense for you um it's it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna delay things okay so i think one thing that you can do to ground yourself and to center yourself around these messages because i know that these messages are a little on the tougher side pal number three um and i hope that i'm delivering them to you kindly is uh rest all right, um, this is a reminder for you that mentally, physically, we cannot be at our 100%. We can't be thinking right. We can't be acting right. We can't be making the right plans, you know, if if we're physically tired. So uh, these, I know it's a lot of information, but I think what you should do to start is just make sure that for the next few days, few nights, whatever, um, you're just getting an adequate amount of sleep for you. That's going to put you more in this, in a space where you're going to be able to, to work it out. All right. And you're going to be able to come up with some, some plans, some action, maybe a little bit more courage for you, maybe a little bit more joy, you know? Um, Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Yep. 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 Yeah. So you've been feeling restrained. Uh, you've been resisting the change again, um, it, which is totally fine. That's totally fair. Okay. Like it, it's very scary. It can be very scary. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Your, your, your work situation is, uh, oof. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. 
your work situation is combative. People are, they don't listen to you. You know, this is also like, look at all these people like arguing with each other and stuff. Like maybe you're, you're really overwhelmed and there's like a lot of people always talking, moving and stuffing all the time, not paying attention to each other. This is also a reminder for you, like nobody can do it like you can though, all right? So um, you really don't need to participate in any of this bullshit conversation with people if you don't want to, all right? Like um, nobody can say things the way that you can say things. Nobody can move through things the way that you move through things. You are one of a kind and you're unique, all right? So that's a really important thing for you to remind yourself um, is that you, you, you contribute. You contribute in a way that nobody else can, all right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, you've been feeling restrained um perhaps mentally um have you been like overthinking about this a lot like that makes a lot of sense to me um maybe sometimes overthinking about it so much to the point where you're like oh my god i actually don't even know what i'm gonna do or like what decision i should make oh you know um this is this is saying <laughs> this is saying that it's possible for you to move out of that energy though all right let me see if i could just pull a little bit of advice for you right there it's definitely possible for you to move out of that energy you are powerful, okay? Like this this card it feels very powerless and and that's that's what I mean is it's like it's like what made you feel in some sort of way like that your self-worth or that your power was not always yours, you know? So that's a good thing for you to kind of just like think about a little bit, but let me see if I can get some advice for you. Um yeah, oh my god, it's, it's, it's like I said exactly the same thing. It's a good time for you to reevaluate your self-worth. Who gave you the idea that you're not good enough? So that is exactly it. Um, think on that. And then if somebody did make you feel that way, um, <laughs> that doesn't feel like very sunny, does it? So that means that it's not for you. And that's that's case in point right there. Um, very friendly, friendly, loving, fantastic reminder that you are not alone during this period, all right? Um, it can feel that way, definitely, you know, that you're walking out in the cold and like, oh boy, you know, like nobody understands or like, where can I find assistance? There's actually a sanctuary that's available for you right there. Um, so this is a reminder for you that you have friends, you have family, you have community, um, you have spirit guides, you have ancestors, you have, you know, uh, guardian angels, whatever you want to call it, that are out here supporting you. Um, so this could be a really good time for you to get out of your head in a certain way. I mean, rest, absolutely. Get out of your head in a certain way, be, way. maybe start talking through some of these feelings with like... I don't know, you could speak to a professional, definitely. You could speak to a family member, like a sister or brother or a cousin or best friend. Um, someone like that uh, to just kind of start um, unblocking some of this stuff because I think there's a tendency we have sometimes to just like feel like there's like we're being burdensome in ways and all that's doing is like creating more internal blockages in our own subconscious, okay? So let's just take that out of your subconscious, use that, use that throat chakra to get it out there and connect with somebody. Um, you also have the king of pentacles in reverse, which is interesting. So you have this king and queen of pentacles. Um, this could be some sort of partnership in some way. Maybe this, this is something you and your partner are experiencing at the same time. Or maybe it feels like it's creating a little bit of disharmony within the home in a way. Um, but again, this is an encouragement for you that you are supported. Abundance is your birthright. You know, money loves to live and sit in your pocket. Money loves to sit in your bank account, all right? But it is also reminding you that there are more things in the world other than the material. So this is just kind of like, this is sort of an encouragement. Like, you know, when you say home, people think like, oh, your house and like all the things that are in it. Like that's definitely these cards. But like your home is also something that's inside of you. Like your home is also like your community. Your home is like these support systems that you have available for you. So like, is there a way for you to take a little step away from the sort of financial, the working, the ambition, the this, the career, and connect with um, something that feels deeper, less uh, earthly, less um, materialistic, less physical, like, can you lean on your sort of spiritual, emotional side to support you during this process? And also to remind you of your self-worth and your own personal power. Of your joy. That's, that's your homework assignment for real, pile number, th pile number three. That's, that, that's it right there. 
Um, and additionally, I mean, this is like some hasty energy, right? Like this is being a little bit, mm, feeling like you need to like rush through things and you need to just like pounce on it right away. This is a reminder for you to like, don't make any, you don't necessarily need to make any like hasty decisions right now. You don't need to just go jumping into something like just because, um, like you're receiving these messages, like you're allowed to take a break, you're allowed to, to take a little step backwards, you're allowed to reevaluate like some of these blockages within you to communicate with some of your friends and like, just make sure that you're taking your time and you're honoring a, um, a, a value system of yours that is that is important that you're that you're um, re reconnecting with your integrity that you're um, that you're honoring your joy and your inner child and your happiness. Okay, um, and sometimes you know what I mean. Like to that's that's a that's some excellent work, and sometimes that work doesn't happen overnight. So um, don't feel like you need to rush into anything. I don't want to pressure you to do anything like that. Um, but you know, there's tiny little things that you can do to kind of just, uh, release perhaps release some, uh, stagnant energy there. Pile number three, tap back into your, um, you know, what I'm also seeing do something fun, please. Oh my God, please do something fun very soon with your friends and your family, someone, um, do something Oh, that takes you away from the rat race in a certain way. It takes you out of your head, maybe into your body. What makes you laugh? And can you do that? First, I mean, that could literally just be watching a movie, you know, if you're feeling very chill and stuff. But for others, it could be, you know, I don't know. I just, I'm feeling like very f fun, childlike energy. So like playing Frisbee or I don't know, like laser tag or something like that like i think that's that that's very good energy for you to remind yourself of and um i also think it's it's very gonna be very healing for you as well uh you got yeah what look at that wait it says it's not time yet things are being woven all right so that's another one of those reminders take your time relax you know, you don't need to be hasty about anything. Uh, this is also a really wonderful confirmation from the universe here that more joy is coming into your life, all right? Um, you don't necessarily need to do anything about it. I'm hearing that as well. Like you've got internal work that needs to happen, but maybe it's about taking yourself out of the physical, out of the materialistic, into the spiritual, having those... Um, uh, confronting conversations about your own sort of shadow, your shadow work, integrating and loving those vulnerable, soft, difficult parts of yourself sometimes. Um, and then just trusting that the universe is going to bring some more joy into your life in the meantime, right? So um, that's actually really nice. That's like a very, very nice message. And it looks like she's you know, about to dive in really, right? Like to the cosmos and stuff. Really, really lovely. Additionally, you got the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Yeah, so I'm seeing this as like another, this is also looking like vocal cordy, blue, like having conversations, laugh, laughing, laughing, your voice, you know, could be like very healing for you. Um, but this is also a reminder you, reminder to you too, like it's, it's the spiritual growing and evolution is the spirituality that's that's important for you okay so um uh, you know if these messages are resonating for you and they're and you're feeling inspired in some sort of way that's that blue flame like boom you know use your voice get it out there like um believe in yourself like know that the universe is doing it for you not against you at all times you know that's that's going to be very, very powerful energy for you. Very powerful move forward, pile number three, for sure. And then you also have big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary inspired ideas, all right? So um, find your joy, uh, f find your your laughter, find your community, fi find that support, find your self-worth, you know, dig deep into yourself, believe in yourself, know that nobody can do it the way that you can do it. You're always in power, like, you know, cycles end, and they they start anew, all right, and and allow that to inspire you, you know. So I think you you're being invited in a lot of ways to um, imagine 
complete and total positive outcomes and joys for yourself, all right? Um, really take some time to imagine like the best possible thing in the entire world and like what would you like about it so much and like where would you want to go and like what would it feel like and how good would that be and like were you, are you laughing? Are you, you know, laughing so hard you cry? It's like so funny, you know? And um, can you hold that energy in and can you picture everything you've ever wanted? And that'll be... Hey, that's you, you know? Like, that looks very different for everybody, but that's you. And then, can you love that part of you, you know? And then, can you also believe you deserve it? I'm also going to pick a whispers of love message for you because I like these. I just think that they're very lovely. And I just want, I want to give you a, um, just a lovely message on top of uh, everything else. So, she's not wanting to flip over. Which one's looking good? This one's kind of sticking out a bit, right? <laughs> Love makes the difference. Love helps heals pa heal past hurts and provides a sen sense of security and self-worth. That's beautiful. So definitely being invited to uh, love yourself more, give yourself more love, give more love to people around you from your community, receive more love, okay? Um, how can you open yourself up to receiving more love from people, uh, more joy from people, and watch how that makes all the difference and really elevates your experience into something completely new. Of course, this is, you know, related to your career, but we spend so much time thinking about our career, our life that, you know, maybe maybe it's really an invitation for more of a work-life balance in a way. Like maybe that's the message you really needed to hear. Um, all right, Paul number three, that was your reading. Thank you so much for being here. If you liked it, please leave me a like, a comment, subscribe, hit the post bell notification. All those things let me know that you guys are feeling it, you're digging it, you want me to continue. I greatly appreciate it every time. If you're ever interested in a private reading, I do offer those 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. You can find more information at thatoracleguy.com. Um, also, I have an Instagram and a TikTok now. So if you're interested, you like, you know, if you like to use those platforms and you're interested in seeing content through them um it's that oracle guy on instagram and on tiktok you can you know feel free to join me across multiple platforms and <clears throat> again thank you very much for being here i'll catch you at the next one of these all right talk to you later goodbye